بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم ویلکم ٹو ایپ سیکس آن لائٹ سپورٹ پروگرام دس از یور سوشل اسٹڈیز ٹیچر فار گریٹ فائیو اے پی ایس فور ٹوٹ مڈل ونگ بوائز ٹوڈے وی ول ڈسکس دا ٹاسک فار ویک فائیو ڈیئر اسٹوڈنٹس وی ول اسٹارٹ اور پریزنٹیشن فرام حدیث دس حدیث از ریلیٹڈ ٹو دا بلیسڈ منتھ آف رمضان حضرت محمد صلی اللہ علیہ وآلہ وسلم سیٹ who ever passed away in the state that he was fasting while seeking the pleasure of Allah, he will enter paradise. Coming to the objectives of week 5, students will be able to know about the hemispheres, lines of latitude and longitude, index, locating the oceans and continents through a grid. Dear students, these are the tasks for week 5. We are starting with unit number 2, that is map reading skills. You will have to read the following topics thoroughly from page number 22 to 27. In this unit, we will discuss in detail about the hemispheres, equator, prime meridian, lines of longitude and latitude, grid and index and their importance on finding locations. Your written task will be of writing five difficult words along with their meanings on loo sheets. Make sure to study the globes with their captions and info boxes. Students, this chapter is a little bit tricky and difficult, so you need not to worry as all the concepts will be explained when the school will reopen, inshallah. Here I am sharing page number 22 to 27. It's better to read the thoroughly before going through the presentation. Again, don't forget to highlight important points and vocabulary words from the text. Students, in this unit, we will discuss the mapping skills and the terminologies used while reading the globe. Number one is equator. Equator is an imaginary line drawn around the center of the globe. It divides the earth into two halves horizontally. It divides the earth into northern and southern hemispheres. The northern hemisphere is situated between equator and the north pole and the southern hemisphere is situated between the equator and the south pole. Now we come to prime meridian, an imaginary line that runs from north pole to south pole. It divides the earth into two halves vertically. It divides the earth into eastern and western hemisphere. Eastern hemisphere which lies to the east of prime meridian and western hemisphere which lies to the west of prime meridian. Hemispheres. Hemi means half. So hemispheres mean half of the sphere. We have learned about equator and prime meridian. Now see in the figure. Equator is dividing the earth into two halves, northern hemisphere and southern hemisphere. And prime meridian is dividing the earth into two vertical halves, eastern hemisphere and western hemisphere. Students, I hope you can identify the horizontal and vertical hemispheres on the globe now. Now we come to longitude. Longitude are imaginary vertical lines that run from North Pole to South Pole parallel to the Prime Meridian. These are numbered according to the distance to East or West of Prime Meridian. It is measured in degrees. Eastern and Western Hemispheres have 180 lines of longitude each. So in total, there are 360 imaginary lines. Coming on to the Latitude Lines. Now, latitude lines are the imaginary horizontal lines that run from east to west parallel to the equator. These are numbered according to the distance to north or south of the equator. It is also me uh, measured in degrees. Northern and southern hemispheres have 90 lines of latitude each. So, in total, there are 180 imaginary latitude lines. Index Now, index, it is an alphabetical list of names of people, 
places along with the page numbers where they are to be found in the book. In Atlas, it helps to find the location of countries, cities, and other places on the maps. Index will give the coordinates of latitude and longitude of any search. Now students, I want you to look at the figure and let's find Pakistan in this figure. Now if you look at each line of latitude and longitude on the map, you will see that each is numbered. If you find the place where the lines 30 degree north and 67 degree east meet, you will find Pakistan on the continent of Asia. Locating the oceans and continents through a grid. Now, a grid is used to make it easier to locate places such as the continents and oceans on a map. Now, students, I want you to go through the examples. If you see the continent Asia, it is in the square I3. Now, I am joining I with 3 and at the point of concision, you can easily find out the continent Asia. In similar manner, let's find out Africa. Africa is in square F and 2. Now, if we come to example number 3, that is Pacific Ocean. Pacific Ocean is in A, A and it is joining with 2. In similar manner, try to find out Indian Ocean on your own. Dear students, that's all for this week. I hope the topics described are clear to you. If you have any questions, do ask from your teacher. Now students, I'm sharing a video with you of an interesting activity regarding the topics discussed. Do watch it and then make this project. Take its picture and share with your social studies teacher on WhatsApp group. I hope you will enjoy it. Take care and Allah Hafiz. Okay, a video on how to make a foldable if you are struggling with the hemispheres, prime meridian, the equator, okay? You'll get see me for materials, okay? You're going to need a glue stick, a marker, and three different circles, okay? I'm going to start with the green circle. This is going to be my earth, okay? And I am going to take my orange circle. And I'm going to fold my orange circle in half, like this. I'm going to take my glue stick, and I'm going to glue that middle piece down, so then it's just one piece, okay? Then I'm going to take my earth, and I'm going to glue one side of my half, like this, okay? Now maybe you see where I'm going with this. Take my marker, I'm going to draw my line, and now I've got a clear line labeled. So now my earth is divided into a north half and a south half. Okay, this line in the middle at zero degrees, we call that our equator. That is our latitude line starting point. So anything North of the equator is north latitude. Anything south of the equator is south latitude. And I'm just going to draw me some lines in here to look like latitude lines. It doesn't have to be perfect. It's not a fancy piece of art. I'm going to draw in some lines here. And now I've got a northern hemisphere, a southern hemisphere on my earth. Okay? I'm going to turn my earth over. Okay? And I'm going to take my yellow paper, which I already have folded to save some time. Do the same thing. Glue the inside together. This time, I'm going to glue the half vertically, okay? So, and you want it to be going the opposite way, okay? So now, same thing, I divide my earth in half, and this is my prime meridian at zero degrees longitude. So I'm going to label it prime 
meridian. Okay, now I have an eastern hemisphere and a western hemisphere. I'm just going to do what I did on the other side, draw me some lines. Again, it doesn't have to be fancy. And there is my western hemisphere, my eastern hemisphere, my prime meridian. Okay, now you've got an earth foldable that gives you your hemispheres and your zero degrees prime meridian and equator.